name Block. Everybody know, uh, you know, got the cameras on. I love it. Just Pearl. How you doing? What's up? What's up, Denisha? I got my guy here, Curtis, with me. You know, legendary. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me, bro. What's good, man? Talk to the people, man. Yeah, man. So, what's good, everybody? Um, I'm Curtis, legendary CST. Uh, man, I got so much love and respect for your team, man. Block and G, like, y'all dudes just came and, like, really changed the game, man. I think, I think a lot of people got to understand that, you know, this thing that we're doing, this is, this is the your thing. Like, this is the your thing. A lot of people come in and, like, they're looking for somebody to show them how to do this. Like, this is your thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can look at your upline and see how they do it. You can look at this chairman and that chairman. At the end of the day, like, this is your thing. This is your residual income. This is you compounding your account. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Man, y'all, you can feel... Man, drop some fire in the chat. This is why I had to have this individual on the group call, man, because people don't understand the value that he has, that he brings to the table when he says team when he sees another team bringing an impact he's just trying to bring his own impact into the game and ain't no trying i give y'all 10 push-ups for that because he is bringing that's the chairman right there you know what i'm saying we all chairman in this chat thank y'all for coming okay the name of this is before i give it back to my man you know a great entrepreneur he got his own business thinking cap you know what i'm saying and he got his own like Ah, musically. So if y'all got a chance, get a chance, man. Drop your, drop your music information. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna hold you too long. I'm gonna let you talk after I drop these gems on y'all. I hope y'all got y'all notebook and y'all notepads and y'all pens. Do y'all quick little sauce. So the thing is called Run the Play. And I heard my man say this a couple times, right? And it just kept running in my head, like over and over and over again. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, I see you post, I see posts a lot of interviews and putting them on YouTube. And that's basically, that's the play. You know what I'm saying? Running the play, we're looking at the play physically. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain things you need to run the play. And notice I said run the play, not actually create a play or create a formation. You know what I'm saying? Because the play is already here for us. You know what I'm saying? I Am Academy gives us a format already. So it's like, you already in the two three on defense, and you already got you already know who bringing the ball up on offense. Period. You know what I'm saying? So basically, it's five things you need, like in a sense, to having a point guard, shooting guard, center, power forward, and the forward. And the point guard, that's the number one thing I have on my list. That's your faith. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have faith because if you got the ball in somebody hand who can't bring the ball up, or you don't know if you can bring the ball up. You might not win the game, right? So if you got faith in this, then you automatically go win, period. So that's your shooting guard. I mean, that's your point guard, feeling. You got to have five different, it's five different, write this down now, five different things you need to, to run the play, all right? Your point guard is your faith, all right? You got to have faith. Cause if he ain't, if he turning the ball over when you bring the ball up, you know he finna bring the ball up. You know he finna bring the ball up, cross half court, and make that play happen. All right. Your second one, number two, is your center, your half court offense. All right. Your half court offense is plays already. You have to call when you cross when the point guard cross. Everybody understand what I'm saying? All right. So your center, your big man, if you need to post, that's basically Shaq. You got to have different streams of income. Your, your center is your streams of income, all right? It's products, it's e-commerce. You know what I'm saying? It's the harmonics scanner. You feel me? It's what you use to make your money. Like, it's your residual income. You feel me? This is, this is your center. This is your your foundation. When you cross half court, you know you're finna make some money. You're sitting down right here, you're finna make some money. You feel what I'm saying? This is your center. Your shooting guard, this, all right, that's your second thing, your center. You gotta have point guard, your faith, 
your ceiling is your streams of income, all right? You gotta have different streams of income, all right? Your shooting guard, I mean, y'all know what this is, Ray, Ray, Ray Allen, you gotta be able to shoot your shot in any situation, all right? Anybody you come across, you gotta be able to present that, present this business to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can't just, you can't just be like, oh, I don't know, it might be too young, or he already got a lot of money, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, when shooters gotta be ready to shoot, man. Ray Allen, when the ball got tipped out to him, he won that, they won that ring because he shot the ball and he was ready to shoot. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be ready, you gotta be on point. You can't be stuttering. You can't have your feet. Your feet gotta be ready. So that means you gotta prepare yourself, polish yourself, take them jump shots every night. Read over your notes. You know what I'm saying? Read over your notes. So when you get in a situation, somebody asks you a question, you can say something like, to answer that, you feel me? You take that shot. That's that, you making that shot is going to determine them you signing up or not. They might be like, oh, it's a scam. You might say, you might say something and you took the wrong shot. But if you change your mind up, exercise your brain, over your notes every night to be a shooter, just like Ray Allen in a shot in the gym every night, shooting, shooting, till he came, it's muscle memory. So when somebody come back, it's a muscle memory thought. You already got an answer for everything because they have a format already. The players are already driven, you know what I'm saying? Players are already rolled up, all right? Drop some fire in the chat. Or drop a one in the chat if you with me. Drop a three in the chat if you going chairman. Because I, I see some chairman. All right? So your power four, we on to the fourth thing. Your power four is your finesse. Now, I'm going to go back to your big man. Because remember, different streams of income. Shaq had shoes. He had cocoa butter. He had the general. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right? That's different streams of income. But your power forward, your Kevin Durant, per se, you got to be likable, all right? You can have streams of income. Shaq was just dunking on niggas. Like, everybody's like, some people they didn't like aggressive things, you know what I'm saying? But now you got to be able to shoot a three and go around the baseline and dunk on whoever in the paint. You know what I'm saying? It's your finesse. You got to prospect through, not to. All right, so you got somebody on the phone, you prospect them, you happy, all right? Get them on the phone, all right, what's going on? Yeah, you got two other people. Prospect through, not two, all right? That's your finesse, that's your power four. That's when you come in, you got a situation, you might need him to post up for a second, and he dribble out for the three, because there's two more seconds left, and then he go back for the two, uh, pull up. Easy. You gotta have that finesse, all right? So you pull it, you pull it together, pull all this together, your power forward, your shooting, your center, your power forward, your faith, your point guard, your different streams of income, your center, all right? Your shooting guard, you've been, you been running your plays, you know how to shoot now. Your power forward, your finesse, prospect through, not two. Now your forward is LeBron, like your LeBron. And, and write this down, A-V-V. -V. It stands for aggressive, vocal, and visible, all right? This is your LeBron. Now LeBron, you know he gonna dunk on everybody. But he also gonna talk to anybody. Hey, you need to go ahead. You need to move over there. Yeah, come. Come set this screen real quick. You know what I'm saying? And he'll do it in front of everybody. You gotta be able to make a decision for, for the team in front of the whole world. That's what makes LeBron, that's, that's what makes this the most important part. You know what I'm saying? This is what brings you all together. You being able to hit your team up one, you can talk to one person and they can tell everybody that's the impact. 
That's the impact you want to have. You want to be able to tell one person and reach 30 people, 300 people, 3,000 people. You know what I'm saying? You don't think when Cash say something to somebody, they like, oh, everybody say something in the chat. 30 people say something in the chat. If Cash just say anything, everybody on there. I see 500 people on his on his video before I even get on there. I don't even know if that's possible. Listen, that's so power forward. It's because he aggressive, he vocal, and he visible. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Skyler? All right, so, so we're gonna run through this again. Notice I said we running the play. All right, we're not making up another play. We're not finna draw another formation. All right. With that being said. I hope y'all was taking notes, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give back to my guy, uh, legendary Curtis. Let's let's hear let's hear him drop some uh some gems. If you can unmute yourself, bro, I'll let you if you got something to share, you need sir. something to share. Let me share something. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Man, block, bro. I appreciate you for having me on the call. And I just appreciate your perspective, bro. Like, you know, one thing I appreciate about this business is that everybody that you network with, you're gonna take gems from them. Like you're gonna take gems from everybody. I guarantee you, I could like any one of you guys could unmute yourself and say something. I would get a gem from it. Like I would take notes from it. You know what I'm saying? And it's because I'm moving with intention. Like I want you guys to understand that like everything Block just said, and I'm gonna recap everything because honestly, like the call is this call is about running the play. And everything he said is literally like he he gave you the key on every position. But what I want you to think about everything you do in life in general do it with intention intention is what makes everything count intention is what turns your losses into lessons think about it if you just going about in life and you don't have the intention to take something from every scenario to make yourself better things are just happening Th things are just happening and and it's, it's it's no you don't know how to implement the lesson to become better because you never had the intention of becoming better. Like everything I do, every time I wake up, I have the intention like, okay, like I'm going C750. You know what I'm saying? So if I meet somebody online that's from another country, I'm gonna build that relationship because I know that's an intentional relationship that can take me somewhere that that's that can help me get to my goals. When Block says, hey bro, like you wanna do a call? I'm like, bet. We running that play, like let's run the play. Cause I had the intention of getting on here, giving value and becoming more influential. You know what I'm saying? Like influence is a major, major key. So I just want you guys to remember, like be intentional, be intentional with your morning routine, be intentional when you talk to people, be intentional with turning your weaknesses into strengths and using your strengths to partner with other people who, who you can, who you can make better, who can learn from your strengths. <laughs> Like, I learned from block strengths. I learned from G's strengths. You know what I'm saying? Like, like G, when he came into the business, he had he had a lot of knowledge on, like, just different places to put your money to make it grow. So that was a weakness of mine. So I, I linked with him. I got sauce from him. You know what I'm saying? I put people on calls with him. I paid attention to how he brands. You know what I'm saying? I, I look at block and just hit his finesse, just how he's able to be himself and be confident. Like, like block gonna get all the bags. Like block is gonna get every bag. You know what I'm saying? I peeped that about him. And so I'm like, okay, bet. So because I seen block get every bag, that's a weakness of mine that I turn into a strength. I'm like, bet. Okay, he getting to every bag. G know where to put his money. Like, okay, bet. I'm finna link with him. You get what I'm saying? But drop some one in the chat, man, if you guys are following me, because I'm about to recap what block said real quick. I'm about to recap those five points, but I need to drop some ones in the chat. Like I need some energy. Like, are y'all with me? Are y'all hearing me? Is this making sense? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So you guys, like, if you're taking notes, I'm just going to recap what Black said, right? So the first thing that he said is in regards to running the play is five things. He said the first thing, that's your faith. And your faith is your point guard. Now, faith it's gonna be a big part of you having intention, right? Because if you have no intentions, then what, what is your faith in? You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't have any intentions, you have nowhere to put your faith. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to believe 
You have to believe that you're going to secure this residual income. Uh, you have no, to no, believe that you're going to become a consistent You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody can mute themselves. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, like you have to believe that you're going to become a profitable trader. You got to have faith in that. I'm talking about before you can see it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the mentorship that you that you think, you know what I'm saying, you deserve or you don't have the influence that you think, whatever the case is, like where you are right now, you have to have faith that this is not where you're going to end. You understand what I'm saying? And having the intention to get better every day, having the intention to turn your losses into lessons is what's going to help. Like your faith is what's going to pull you through that. If you don't have no faith, What's going to happen when you went from making $1,000 a month to making $150 a month? What's going to happen if you don't have no faith? What's going to happen when you've been compounding your account and one day you got cocky and you blew, you blew let's say, 50 to 70% of your account in one trade? What's going to keep you going? It's that faith. It's that faith. So I want you guys to see the end right now. Like, you guys should know exactly where you're going to be a year from now like drop in the chat because i like i need some energy i need some feedback a year from now today 2021 december 23rd 24th whatever 2021 drop in the chat something that you're gonna have that you don't have right now i want everybody to tell me what's something that you're gonna have a year from now that you don't have right now Everybody should know what this is. Everybody should already have seen December 23rd, 2021. I don't I don't see nobody dropping Chairman 10, C100, better public speaker, billion dollars in my bank account. That's heavy. That's heavy. I love that. I love that. 2,000 people on my team. Bet. Bet. What I need you guys to do is I need you to wake up every day with that intention of this is where I'm going to be December 23rd, 2021. This is where I'm going to be. This is where I, which is where I'm going to be. You have to have that intention. You have to have that faith, right? Which brings me to my next point, right? Your center. Your center, block said, are your streams of income. A, a <laughs> lot of these right here, a lot of the things that I see right here that people are going to secure, six figures, and more, 15,000 in savings, uh, P600, 2,000 people uh, on my team. Okay, that's your streams of income. You should already know how I'm going to hit 15,000 in savings. Am I gonna do that trading? Am I gonna do that by building my team? How am I gonna get six figures and more? Is it gonna be from my online store? All of these things should already be mapped out right now. When we're talking about running the play, where's your whiteboard? Where are your X's and O's? Where is your playbook at? Because you cannot run the play if you don't have it drawn up. You understand what I'm saying? So your center are your streams of income. Think about that. Think about the brand you want to build for yourself and do that with intention. And I need you to grow these streams of income, guys. I need you to take this seriously. And the only way that you're going to grow your streams of income and write out your play is if you have faith that it's already done. That's the absolute only way. Okay? So that's your center. Third, your shooting guard, right? That's being ready to present your opportunity to anyone, anywhere, at any time. You got to be ready to catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be, be ready to pull up. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready to catch and shoot. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to understand that if you want people on your team, if you want to hit these ranks, P600, P2000 uh, people on your team, you have to become a professional network marketer. You have to become a professional network marketer. We talk a lot about trading, right? Becoming six-figure traders and being great traders. But I think a lot of people need to ask themselves, especially when it comes to being ready to present this opportunity to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Do you really want to be a, a, a six-figure trader or do you want to make money? And when you're presenting this business to people, right, I want you not to look at this thing like, okay, that's building the business. Okay, that's, tra that's uh, trading. No. What is the common denominator? What is the LCD, the least common denominator of this opportunity? The least common denominator of this opportunity is different streams of income. 
you have residual income, you have compound interest because you're able to compound your trading accounts at a rate that your skill set will allow you to. Okay, trading is all about, it's between you and the market. Nobody should be blaming any type of blown accounts or anything on their mentor, on an educator. Listen, that is between you and the market. Everything that you do on those charts is between you and the market, okay? Take responsibility for that. So compound interest and residual income. So when you're presenting this opportunity to people, understand a good question to start off asking people is, hey man, how much extra, how much extra money a month would change your life? You know, a, a good question to ask some people is like, hey, how much is your cell phone bill? Okay, that's crazy. My cell phone bill is X amount. And it, it's crazy because one of the first goals that I had when I started day trading was to make enough money to pay my cell phone bill. Isn't that, isn't that an interesting way to start a conversation with somebody about Forex and they don't even, like, they don't even, you know what I'm saying? Now you, you've actually presented the solution to a problem. You've shown them how this can help them. That, that's what shooting guard, being ready to shoot, being ready to present this business. A lot of you guys are nervous. A lot of you guys are nervous about telling people about this business, right? And I, I'll be honest, a lot of people aren't ready for this. Like they aren't ready for this information, this next level information. But guess what? Because you can see the future, because you are the visionary, because you have the faith, and you can see what's already done before it happens. That makes you the leader, okay? And when people are not receiving your, uh, your your opportunity, that's not you. That is not you. That is their inability to see the future. That is not your fault. Your job is to hold your vision crystal clear, have an immense amount of clarity, right? And a confidence level that is so high that you know this works. You have to know that this works. That's what's going to keep you ready to shoot. And so you know people need extra income. If you ask anybody right now, okay, what, what if, like, like, what if, what, what if I gave you $2,000 a month to cover your bills? What if I told you that every time you talk to 75 people, you get $2,000 a month? How long would it take you to talk to 75 people if you knew you could get $2,000 a month from talking to them? You ask people questions like that, and that's going to get their brain to brain to thinking like, damn, like, because guess what? When a lot of people see that compensation plan, the first thing they think, oh, this is a, this is a pyramid scheme because the person on top gets paid off of me. People pay more attention to other people's money in this business than they do their own. And that's the problem. That's the problem. People look at what the chairmen are making. People look at what, what uh, different people's trading accounts are. And they never take the time to develop the skills to take their accounts to the next level. Everybody's always looking at somebody else's paper. Like people need, people need to remember in school, right? When you were taking a test, the number one rule was to keep your eyes on your own paper. That is the number one rule. Life is a test. Life is a test. You know what I'm saying? We practice. You know what I'm saying? We, we practice things. We get in the gym. We work on the skills. And then the situation happens and those are the tests. And you know why so many people fail a lot of tests? Because they're keeping up with the Joneses. Because they're looking at somebody else's paper. Keep your eyes on your own paper. Develop your own skills. I know people who don't want to place $1 trades while they're learning because it, it looks like a little bit of money. Who the hell is looking at your trading account, bro? Like learn learn how to win 10 trades in a row and make $10 off of placing one dollar trades. And then you can up your risk, right? But who are who are you showing? Who are you trying to impress? If somebody wants to be impressed by a trading account, show them Matthew Thayer, show them Ness Vasquez. You understand? So be be ready to present this business to everybody. I want you guys to work on that. Like I want you guys to really master that skill of figuring out who you are and how to talk to any person. Because even if you weren't in this, even if you weren't in this business, your money is gonna have to come from other people. If you're an artist, you're gonna have to go to studios. You're gonna have to speak to people. If you have a lash business, you're going to have to open your mouth and speak to people, right? And the thing about the age we're living in now, in the social media era, you can build your personal brand and sell anything. 
you have a strong personal brand, you can sell anything. People will buy pens from you if you have a strong personal brand and you're giving value every time on your social media, right? People will buy music from you. They will buy merch from you. They will buy anything from you if you are developing a strong personal brand, okay? So be ready to present the opportunity to anyone, anywhere, anytime. That's the shooting guard. Next thing, power forward, influence, prospect through and not to. You guys, I need you guys to start bringing plus ones to calls just like this. Stop waiting on op calls, right? Bring plus ones on calls like these so they can see the culture, right? And when you bring somebody on a call, when you invite somebody to the call, tell them to bring somebody else on, right? Don't be afraid to ask for the invite. Like, don't be afraid to invite. You know what I'm saying? Like, Net, when I talk about being a network mar marketing professional, part of that, that's part of what that is. Being able to meet somebody and even, and even if you don't close them, you tap into their network. You figure out who they know and who they know. I don't know if you guys seen the movie about Ed Snowden, uh, but it's like this, this NSA guy and he was tapping hella phones, right? And when he tapped one phone, he could tap into the network of everybody that phone it contacted. And it just duplicated. It just duplicated, right? So I need you guys to start thinking like that, you know, prospecting through and not to you meet somebody. Hey, what's up? Figure out who their friends are. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys got to really get into the habit of that. Okay. Fifth thing for being aggressive, vocal, invisible. Now this is something that I had to work on because when I came into this business, like I knew a lot of things and I was smart, but I wasn't, I wasn't very confident in saying that to people. I wasn't very confident in having a position of authority. I really, I really was like weary about stepping on other people's toes, about making other people feel uncomfortable, right? But there's not been a chairman that I've seen who is humble. Every chairman that I know pops their shit. Uh, so number five is forward, being aggressive, vocal, and visible. Aggressive vocal, invisible. Every chairman I know has popped their shit. Nano is like, like the most chill, the, the most chill uh, chairman that I've seen so far. And even he pops his shit, you know what I'm saying, in his own way. He has a morning call Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. every single day. He is visible and he is vocal and he pours life into people who are not just in his team, but everybody's team. Everybody's invited to those calls. So he's visible. Like you guys have to, you guys have to really do some soul searching and figure out who you are, what your strengths and weaknesses are. And you have to think of the higher version of yourself. Forget how you were conditioned, forget how you were brought up, forget childhood trauma, forget things that you changed about yourself from when you were a child to make the world more comfortable. Uh, four was power forward. It was the power forward position and that's influence, be influential and prospect through people, not to people. So that's basically like, you know, involves tap rooting, things like that, right? But I want you guys to think about what that higher version of yourself looks like and start walking as that person. Because I tell you one thing, when I started visualizing a higher version of myself, that's when my money started growing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's when I started seeing results. And I remember when I was telling Block, like, man, you know, like, I got to make some things happen. I remember telling him that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like a month, a month and a half ago. And I really had to tap in. I really had to say, okay, Curtis, these are your strengths. These are your weaknesses. And I had to dial in. And once I dialed in, I started seeing results. And so many doors have opened up for me since I shifted that mindset. And since I accepted that, okay, I am going to be a billionaire. Like that's already done for me. So what I have to do is I cannot be afraid to speak in front of people. I cannot be afraid to tell people about what I have to offer because God has already decided that's my destiny, right? So that's gonna help you guys with being aggressive, vocal, and visible once you're confident in who you are. Like you guys are here for a reason. And if you don't believe that you are here for a reason, you will be gone. You will be gone. Like, like you will be gone. If you don't believe you are here for a reason, you will be gone from this company. You will stop pursuing entrepreneurship. And let me tell you guys, this is literally like, you got to think about it. We can get money trading on our own, right? We can literally do that, right? But this company actually 
actually has a system developed for you that you can plug people into. And by plugging people into this system, like you're earning residual income. Everybody in your circle, everybody in your network can be their own boss through this company and use this money to do other things. Like, like it's so crazy when I see people not understand the value of this opportunity. Once you understand active income versus passive income, and you understand assets versus liabilities, and you understand the benefits of being a, a, a digital entrepreneur, having a home-based online business, right? These are some major gems that you guys are getting right now. Do not let this go over your head. Once you understand the difference between active and passive income, once you understand the difference between assets and liabilities, and once you understand the benefits of owning an online business, a home-based business, this business right here will make all of the sense in the world to you. Now, what I want you guys to do, man, after this call, I need you guys to run. Like, I need you guys to, like, yo, 2021 is next week. If you haven't been, if you haven't been pushing through the bullshit of October, November, and December, 2021 is not going to have any rewards for you. You had to be in the trenches grinding, okay? And I know we all went through, we all went through our depression. We all went through our seasonal depression. We all lost people. We all took those L's. You know why? Because it's literally a part of the seasons. You cannot get a, a year full of summers. You will have one spring, one summer, one fall, one winter every single year. All right. So I don't want to keep you guys too long, man. Block, thank you so much, bro, for letting me be on this car, bro. Like, thank you. I took notes about running a play and I'm about to run, bro. Like, thank you, bro. For real, for real. Hey man, thank you for coming, man. Everybody drop some one in the chat if y'all got that value. Everybody get some uh, Instagram shots. Uh, let's get an Instagram post. Let's get a money screen right quick. I can't really screen because, but hey man, we got so much value. I just feel I'm I'm shaking right now, man. I feel it coming. P two thousand in a month. <laughs> y'all ready? Y'all can unmute yourselves right now. Right. You know what time it is. Yes. Hey, hey man, <laughs> hey, hey, hey man, Nani P2000, Nani did P2000 in one month. Any of us on this call could do it, bro. Yeah, anybody right. else got anything to say? Y'all lit. I'm glad I made it. I appreciate you coming. Yeah, Absolutely. appreciate you coming, my boy G. Showing love, man. That was a good out call y'all had just a minute ago. I made it today. <laughs> Man, exactly, dog. The big four went off tonight, bro. The big four went off tonight. Yeah. We on fire. We got to do nights nice just like this. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, man. Y'all seen that boy Smitty on that op call? Ooh, that was that boy first op call. It was sweet. Ah. It was sweet. That's my nigga Smitty. Ah. Let's get money scream on three. Money scream on three. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Come on, One, two, three. Money. 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 I need two ashtrays, one just for my bitches. I can't fuck with snitches. I just want these riches. I need two ashtrays, one just for my bitches. I can't fuck with snitches. I just want these riches. I need two ashtrays, one just for my bitches. I can't fuck with snitches. I just want these riches. I need two ashtrays, one just for my bitches. Yeah, 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 one just for my.